Today I want to take a look at how we can back up our images on a Windows computer using a program called SyncBack. Of all the things photographers like to overlook, I think, in the, the grand scheme of things, is backing up their photographs. When you're taking images and you're storing them on external hard drives, those external hard drives are very delicate. They're fragile. If you drop them, a lot of times they'll die. They also will just die randomly. And because of this, we really need to make sure that we're backing up our photos and keeping them safe by having our images in multiple locations. So what I recommend to students is that they actually have three different locations for their photographs. If you're storing your images internally on your internal hard drive, I would buy two external hard drives to be copies of the, what's on your internal. Contrary to that, if you're storing your images externally, I would have three externals. One main drive that you use every day for importing and exporting and working in Lightroom and Photoshop, and two additional drives that are exact mirrored copies of the first. That way if one goes down, you've got two remaining backups to keep you safe. Now, is there a ways to add more drives? For sure. Are there ways to complicate that? Definitely. But for me, a very simple three location backup system works really, really nicely. Now, another thing to consider is that one of your three locations could be off-site, like a cloud storage or something like that, and that's definitely something you could look into as well. If we are going to go along the lines, though, of having three external hard drives, which is what I would recommend most people do, I like to use a program called SyncBack on the PC. It's totally free, SyncBack free, to facilitate the copying of the images from your main drive over to your backup drives. Now, it's very important that before you do any of the things in this video, that the drive letters of your hard drives, your three backup drives, are all different from one another and they're all, they've all been set with the computer. So they're locked into being a certain drive letter. For example, my main drive is always letter Z, regardless of what order I plug it in or what port I plug it into. My backup drives are always X and Y. And again, that's regardless of where I plug them in or what order I plug them in. So if you don't have that set up already, make sure you watch my video I already made on setting up drive letters and formatting hard drives on a Windows computer because you got to get that set first. Now, once we have that set, the process is very straightforward. The nice thing about SyncBack is it's going to scan both drives initially and it's going to see what's different on your main drive versus your backup drive. And it does that scan every time you back up. So that way, each time you back up, it's not recopying everything over like a drag and drop technique might do. It's going to scan the drives, find what's different, and only copy over what it needs to, which is super awesome. So in order to use this program, I'm going to go ahead and start it up here. And first of all, you want to make sure that both of your hard drives are plugged in and that they both have those individual drive letters, like I said. Now, this is going to look a little different uh, depending on whether you've used the program or not. I've already used it, so I have a couple backup sets here already. If you're opening it for the first time, you won't see anything in this open area up top here. All we got to do, though, to start is down in this lower left-hand corner, we're going to click the New Profile button. And this is something that we're going to use the first time to set up what's called a profile. And then from then, for each subsequent time we back up, we don't have to do this setup step again. So it's kind of nice. We do it once, and then we're done. So I'm going to click on New. And the first thing it's going to say is, hey, what's the name of this profile? So if you actually look, I already have a couple profiles set up, one called Photo Backup and one called Offsite Photo Backup. So those are for my two other external hard drives. I'm just going to call this uh, Backup of My Photos. Call it whatever you want. We'll hit Next here. And it's going to ask, how would we like to do this? Well, for us, I want my backup drive to be exactly the same as my main drive when the backup has completed. And in order to get that, we need to turn on the mirroring option. That's the one that will make the backup drive look exactly the same as the main. So we'll choose mirror there and we'll hit next. Here, you don't really need to change anything. Uh, it's just telling you that it's gonna, the source is going to be an internal or external and the destination is going to be an internal or an external. So we can click done. And pops up this next window. So as of yet, we've just named the profile and we've told it that we like to mirror the drives. We want the two drives to be the same at the end of the backup process. Here is where we actually pick what drive is our source, like what drive do we want to back up and which drive is our destination? Where do we want to put those images? And this is super easy. So right up here, we've got source and destination. You don't actually click the word, you click the little folder next to it. So I'm going to click that little folder next to source. 
and it's gonna pop up a folder browser on my computer, fairly simple. And I want the source, if I use my left hand side here, to be my main photo drive. Nope, my main photo drive might have come, come unplugged. So let me plug it back in here. And we'll give it a second to spin up. So over here on the left, we can see all the list of hard drives. And boom, there's my main photo drive. So I'm gonna pick my main photo drive, which is Z, as my source. That's what I want to back up. And I'll hit select folder here. Notice there are different things on my main photo drive. There's my Lightroom catalog and my originals, which is kind of like my image storage, okay? I can pick specifically to only back up one folder or another on the main photo drive, but I want the whole thing backed up. I want everything there because my catalog and my pictures are both there and they're both of equal importance. So I'm going to just click main photo drive on the left, not going to click any folders on it and hit select folder. And you'll see up here next to the little folder now it says Z, which is the drive letter of that hard drive. And then destination, we'll do the same thing, click up here. This time I'm gonna to go to offsite photo backup, which again is my X drive, and I'm gonna hit select folder. So it's gonna copy Z over to X. Now, this is why it's super important to make sure your drive letters are locked, because if they're not, say that said drive E and drive F, like the, the computer assigned drive letters that normal things get when you plug them in. If you plugged the drives in in the wrong order sometime, Say you plugged in the backup first and the main second, and when you set this up, you did it the opposite. It would actually overwrite what was on your backup drive uh, or what was on your main drive with what was on your backup drive. And that's super, like a bad thing to happen. So you really wanna make sure those drive letters are assigned. So we get this set. Now, there's gonna be a little bit of red text here in the middle that says files only on the destination are deleted. That's because we picked the mirroring option, which is what we want. We want anything on the destination that's not on the source to get deleted. Say you edit a bunch of photos, you delete a bunch of your images because they're bad. When you back up next, you also want those bad images to be deleted off of the backup drive. Makes sense, all right? So I'm gonna hit okay here, and it's gonna say, hey, warning, your profile is configured to delete files and folders from the destination that are not on the source. That's okay, we want that. So I'll hit OK here. And now I have a new little profile. Now again, you'll only have one at this time if it's your first time backing up. I have three because I already had my other two. So the profile is now set up. This is the cool part. You never have to do that part again. Every time you want to back up from here on out, all you got to do is start up the program and it brings you right into this screen here. You select the profile that you're interested in and you come down here and hit the run button at the bottom of the screen. And what that's gonna do, as soon as you click it, you might have to hit a confirm button after that, but as soon as you click it, it's gonna scan the main drive, scan the backup drive, see what's the same, what's different, and like I said before, it's gonna copy over anything that's not on the backup drive from the main drive. So at the end of the whole process, it's gonna make the two drives look identical. Now, quick note, if this is your first time backing up, it's gonna take it a long time, especially if you have a lot of photographs. There's a lot of things for it to copy, but each subsequent backup, it's gonna become quicker and quicker, which is awesome. Uh, if you back up very routinely, your backups will be very fast because there's not that much that changed. Now, a couple quick things on backing up that I wanna mention. First is, people always ask me how often you should back up. This is a question that I entirely send back at them and say, hey, how much are you willing to lose? Because that's really what it comes down to. If you're saying that you're gonna back up once a month, then you're putting one month potentially of your images on the line. If your main drive crashes and it had been a month since you'd backed up last, you're losing a month of your photographs. So me personally, I back up every single time I import. I import a new memory card of images, I back up, and then I format that memory card. And it's a very smooth workflow for me to be able to use. Now, this is the Windows side of things. Uh, in, a, in the future, probably next week, I'll be making a video on how to back up on the Mac side of things using a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. So if you're on a Mac, look for that video as well. That will be coming out soon. So that's how we back up, very, very simple. Uh, if you liked this video and found it helpful, I'd love it if you hit that like button down at the bottom of the screen, it really helps out. If you have a question on what I covered, leave a comment down below, that would be awesome. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching.